There is nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. This is Create Take Six. I'm Bradley Schravenor. I'm rehearsing for my talk called Create. Looking for a subtitle. It could be it. There is nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. The year is 2020. What idea do you have this year that you look back on and think, that was the idea I had that year? And yet my question remains, did you act on it? Did you create? Did you let it out? Did you let it seep out of the exhaust vent of your soul and come into existence, give birth into the world? (laughs) Now, I can make a thing sound dramatic, but it can be as simple as twisting a little valve and letting out what should be out of your system anyway. I believe that our ideas, our thoughts, our intentions, even our future selves are sometimes trapped within us and we need to let them out. Now, me as an author, I tend to let them out in words. I write out my my new ideas, my thoughts, my stories, my intentions, my beliefs, my futures, my past, my present. I get it out of me, I see it, I rework it, I edit it, I improve it, I co-edit, I collaborate together with others to make it better. Yet, it has to exit me to get to this stage. Is there anything more powerful than an idea whose time has come? Can you feel sort of there's a timeline Just imagine like the sunset and a sundial or the sunset and this branch. And when is the shadow going to go upon that point right there? Only at a certain time of day. Now, maybe that's the time in your life when this idea comes to fruition. And you know when it happens because you feel it. (laughs) It's not oh, this is the year because I, my accountant said um, financially. No. This is the year that it needs to come out. This is the year to, that it, if it does not come out, it will start festering in your system and eventually grow like a tumor and infect everything around it, which is you. So when will be the time when your idea comes to fruition, when you let it out from its cage, (laughs) when you assist in its escape from its prison. (laughs) I love making this all sound dramatic. That's the author in me. But it is as simple as you beginning to create, you beginning to open that exhaust vent just in the slightest bit, to let those ideas out, to let what's truly inside of you out into the world, to let that true self be seen by yourself as well. (laughs) Is there anything more powerful than an idea whose time has come? I'm Bradley Sharman, and this has been rehearsal number six for my talk titled Create, to launch together with my book of the same title. (laughs) Because, frankly, I believe that creating is one of the secrets of the meanings of our lives, the purpose for which we are here. Because if we don't tell our stories, we don't let out what's inside of us, It's bottled up until on our grave, and we might say like Ivan Yavilovich was my whole life wrong. Create.